Hi there, my name's Steve from Steve's Fishing Channel. Um, okay, today's date is Monday the 7th of October 2013 and I'm doing this video because I've just recently started up fishing again. Uh, I did do fishing when I was in my early teens, uh, which were many, many years ago. Uh, I used to go fishing at Dartford Lakes and Thamesmead and uh, one or two other lakes. Um, but recently I just started out fishing again and uh, I'm kind of like leveling it out between my other hobby which is ghost hunting so some days I'll do ghost hunting and some days I'll do like fishing but just recently I've been doing more fishing than ghost hunting but I will be continuing my ghost hunting um, episodes starting next week um, I hope to go to Kent and do Darfur Cemetery, but anyway, that's the ghost hunting. This is fishing. Um, within the last couple of months, I bought myself a couple of rods, reels, tackle, um, a bit of a chair, catch net, keep net, and uh, lots of different bait. Um, this little video I'm going to bring you is on one of the baits I use quite regular. Um, well, now it will be regular because I've only just been using it about a week and uh, I find I have actually had some good results over at the um, Seven Islands um, Lake at Mitcham where I normally have been fishing quite regular um, so yeah the bait I use or start to use from leisure is the Red Robin car pellets now a couple of days ago I bought a small packet like so off ebay for like two quid I think it was um, and that was including postage I took them over and I was talking to uh, a guy called Beamish who's been fishing at Mitcham for many many years about 30 years or so and he's always been doing like a uh, leisuring with PVA bags and what he puts in his PVA bags is his own little secret. Um, you know, PVA bags are pretty good because it saves you keep catapulting out, you know, time and time and time and again, handfuls of like ground bait. Now, um, what I decided to do was that I was going to use this um, as normal bait, you know, to try to catch the fish on, and then this down here as ground bait for the PVA bags now um, I didn't actually know how to do a PVA bag at first until I watched a couple of YouTube channels and found out it's quite easy even the guy who I know over at Mitchum who's been doing it for 30 years he gave me a quick rough idea on how to do it as well so I went out and bought a PVA bag little kit and you get the little plunger to plunge in there, PVA bags and a little tube to stick in and keep dry because if you get it wet it will uh, disintegrate rather quickly these ain't like you know bandages although it looks like a bandage it is not a bandage it's a particular mesh uh, which allows you to put in bait as soon as you touch water it will disintegrate within segments now this is my second PVA um, mesh which I bought today the kit already had like the plunger and the tube so I just needed to buy the mesh but the um, reason I bought it because I was going to hopefully go fishing tomorrow and I had already ordered a PVA kit a second one from eBay which is this one here um, at 9.95 I think it was and about 3 quid postage um, this has two different types of mesh this is a 35 and that's a 25 and then you've got your plunger and uh, the plunger you've got that one for your 35 and at the bottom it's for the 25 the mesh I bought today at um, Sutton Tackles shop uh, this one 
isn't the original mesh which came with the kit because I've already used the mesh for that one this is a new mesh I bought today and this will um, it, it states on the actual um, label 25 and 35 so you know although I've got it on a 25 tube I could stick it on a 35 and stretch it out a bit more uh, but I'm going to use it as 25 for now um, I have already done quite a few bags uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway um, the pellets I normally use uh, for fishing and I've only just started using these is the Red Robin um, I bought like a small pack of eBay for a couple of quid and um, I went over Mitchell and Common and I was talking to the guys I said like you know has anyone tried these particular pellets and I said well no you know everyone's been using boilies I don't think the pellet will work here so um, I thought well I'm going to give it a try I stuck it um, a single one on a hair rig went round to uh, a little part of the lake where one of my friends usually like fish and um, within 15 minutes I caught the first fish which was a a common carp it's only like a small one about a pound, pound and a half on the actual um, Robin Red pellets and not only that I caught another two within half an hour so I caught three fish within an hour using the Red Robin pellets um, now the Red Robin was actually on the hair rig and for the ground bait I was using the uh, PVA bags as I say and I make them different sizes I make a small one like that or a little bigger one like that or the next one up a bigger one so I've got three different types now it depends on how much bait I had as well you know uh, ground bait if I didn't have enough and I'll try to like minimise it as much um, I don't think it's worth you know chucking out kilos and kilos and kilos of ground bait which a lot of like professional um, fishermen do uh, you know on matches and stuff like that to bring the fish in I find like just chucking a handful out or something brings them in anyway if they're hungry enough so um, what I did today was I've done about 20 like PVA bags well actually there's 26 there um, and what I'm going to do is quickly show you what I do um, when you get your PVA bag it's usually like open up you have to put a knot at the bottom to stop the bait coming through I'm actually using this which is um, a mixture of um, bird seed dog biscuits uh, two or three different type of biscuits um, there's like these um, carp pellets and even these little green carp pellets in between the whole mixture and what I do is I put a couple of the um, Robin Red in as well so this is what I do Again a bit more. Just going to show you how I make my own ones up. Just to give you an idea. Okay, what I do is I get my tube and I stick a bit of a ground bait in. I don't put too much in. Um, this is more seed and uh, like you know the green and the yellow um, carp pellets there in there as well. I try to do a good little mixture. Then I put a couple of uh, two or three dog biscuits in, like so. I don't go extreme, you know. If they like it, they'll eat it. If they don't, then it, you know, they don't eat, and it goes to waste. I don't really like wasting too much um, ground bait if I can help it. Uh, then. What I do is I've just had a couple of the red robin because you've already got two on a hook, you know, and you've got two here, and then 
I'll just pour a bit more of this uh, ground bait in. And then what I'll do is get me a little plunger. push it down as far as I can now this is one of the bigger bags I've made actually today I don't normally go that big but uh, I will just for today and then what you want to do is twist the bag around pull it out and just like loop it over You don't have to loop it over, you can cut it and just tie a normal knot at the end. But I normally loop it over. And then try to get the knot as close as possible at the bottom. Now, even if it's just like a little bit, it doesn't really matter. But there we go. And that's a PVA bag. And then all you have to do which I haven't got with me is uh, snip it off at the bottom and then you'll have a PVA bag like so um, and then what you do then is tie an, another hole not at the bottom so it's like so and then you can start again um, I can't remember how much these were I think these are about £4.50 in some tackle shops might be a bit more in some others you, know, you just have to shop around this is a 8mm pellet pre-drilled cart pellets um, I could have got these cheaper if I went to a, a tackle shop but I didn't think about it and uh, a friend of mine actually bought the same pack for £4.95 I actually paid myself uh, quickly, um, I actually paid uh, 4.29, I think it was, for the actual pack, but then three pound postage. So you know, I've done a bit of a a silly thing there, uh, ordering it online, <coughs> but I didn't know exactly um, what tackle shop sold them because even at the um, Tackle shop I went over at Sutton today didn't even have them, so like you know, they had other pellets, but they didn't have the red robin. Uh, I believe the tackle shop at um, near the Tooting train station in Tooting they sell them in there because uh, me mate John actually bought a packet and they had about four four pound ninety five or something for the same um, same weight, which is nine hundred gram. So there we go, that's um, PVA bags, um, when you're finished <coughs> put your PVA back in uh, with the funnel and just like that's it and store it when you're finished doing all your PVA bags. Um, I must state that you know do not put anything wet and damp in PVA bags because it will just disintegrate your bag straight away so you know do not do it um, the best thing to do is uh, probably get um, proper PVA bags these are PVA meshes I think I've actually devised some today Okay, these ones I've not actually opened or tried yet but I will hopefully try later in the week they didn't have no actual PVA tape but they had the uh, PVA um, string which they said I could use with this or what this is it's the same kind of thing it's not a mesh it's just a plastic bag you put your bait in and it dissolve within like 10 20 seconds I'm not going to put anything wet in these because I don't think they would actually like hold for that amount of time because time you put your bait in put a knot on stick it on your hook and cast it out it's probably dissolved straight away 
but I'm going to look into this a bit more on uh, YouTube of course um, so that's it really uh, that's my first little um, fishing demo on uh, my bait um, the next one I'll be bringing to you is different ground bait which is like more of a powdery kind of stuff I'll uh, tell you what kind of um, ground bait I've been using and has been attracting some of the fish I've been catching and um, what kind of maggots I buy as well um, but for now this is Steve saying thanks for watching and uh, hope you come back to Steve's fishing channel again sometime cheers for now bye bye